So, some of you may know that I've been playing around with this Soya Source ESP Home Virtual Meter, which is where you place the, the um, current clamp on your Soya Source um, grid tie meter. These are only small units, only capable of really, well, my one can only top out about 700 watts. Um, but it's base load, that's what we're trying to get rid of. So, I've been playing around with this. I've gotten to the bit where I've flashed all this, and I've actually today put to together up my RS485 to serial um, device so it's all well um, soldered up together and it's plugged in and I can see on my Soya Source app on my phone which also works via a um, kind of closed source uh, image on a very similar ESP thing but hooked into the USB port of the um, of this machine that I can see the, the what it's doing so when I go to Home Assistant now and I've got this nice tile called Battery Inverter in Home Assistant, it has some options that I, if I've got this manual override and ticked and that unticked because that's the power off. Now, bearing in mind it's sunny today so my solar's doing, Shelley's telling me my solar's exporting a thousand watts. Now, it's not ideal. Um, I'm going to... Oh, and now the sun's gone in and now I'm importing 600 watts so it's jumping around a bit which is kind of annoying but well I'll take this opportunity to demonstrate that if I say all oh, right I want 640 watts worth of energy right now and what happens to this um, does it go towards zero and yes it does because the soya source now the GTN 1000 is now um, pulling or pushing rather 640 from the batteries um, to the AC. Now um, it's sort of constant miserable weather and you'll hear the planes going over. Apologies. But the beauty of this system is that this number here I should be able to automate via a script to uh, trigger off of this power value here so I can keep telling the uh, inverter to fluctuate to match and to try and keep this value as close to zero as possible. So basically peak shave. Um, I haven't worked out the actual code for that, but I will do. Um, this is just a proof of concept that actually um, this is working, and it is. Uh, I didn't have this working yesterday. I was busy actually converting the battery, which is running off of um, Stuart Pitaway's BMS. I was busy taking it from a 4S 12 volt battery to an 8S, um, so that's 8 in series 24 volt battery, which is what the Soya source um, requires. Previously, I was using big lead acid batteries, but you know, I've weighed all those all in because they weren't, um, they were past their best, and I had this battery lying around doing nothing from the days when I was trying to convert it to use um, on an Emacs 110 scooter. So, anyway. This is all stuff which I kind of had already, more or less, um, and copying some of the work that Johannes Hubner's done, um, but with slightly different bits and bobs. Um, and yeah, it works. I'm quite impressed with it. It's like I say, this is not for massive amounts of power. This is not your car battery attached to, as in your EV battery. This is a very small 24 volt battery, the kind of thing you'd have in a van as a. Um, auxiliary battery like a, a leisure battery but it's enough it should save us some money not massive amounts but um, it's this it's in the realms of the same kind of thing as like an EcoFlow or a Bluetti that, that kind of power power system that's really uh, equivalent to what this is capable of doing and I think EcoFlow are bringing out something that will do about 800 watts um, into a plug socket so that's interesting to me because I wasn't even sure that would be possible but anyway um, not much more to show you at the moment uh, I'm gonna take that value off and then watch the power drop back down yep it mirrors it there I don't know why all of these um, other values are unknown that's a bit of a shame um, but the main thing I care about is that actually I can send commands to the box via a home assistant and get the value back out. 
so I should be able to automate this and that's the key thing and the other thing I should be able to do is on the energy tab here there is a battery bit where um, you can add a source for a battery so you'll get another graphic in here and that'll tell you like what's coming in and out of the battery um, how to measure that or how to create the power from the battery is, is another thing I mean yes I could use the values coming from the solar source but also there's losses so yeah anyway thank you for watching um, I'll try and make this too long